Welcome, this is Jeff Byers, and we will be working with uh, getting stuff set up for um, a house, creating a type of house or building to get uh, ready for UDK or the Unreal Engine. So this will be video one. So UDK uh, modeling architecture uh, video one. So let's go ahead and start with adding a uh, floor plan to the top view. So go to view, go to image plane, import image, and we're going to pull this from the desktop. So we've got a small house floor plan. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scale this up, and each unit in Maya is going to be a unit in feet. So each little grid unit that you see here is equal to one foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into display, go to grid, and go into here and then we're going to click on axes okay for both and we have grid lines and numbers let's uh, make those black okay and let's find the color black apply and close you could probably use red to see what that does if that's going to make it nice and bright there we go so now you can kind of see um, the the numbers okay if you think that's too bright you can make it any color you want um, so maybe dark blue would be better it's a little glowing let's go in here and change that to like a dark blue let's try this one there we go that's cool apply and close that's good so now we're going to go ahead and scale this up so scaling this up um, so this this room is 24 feet by 12 so we're just gonna find 24 feet so if we go to 20 right here you can see that um, the grid right about here you can see that grid going through here that's actually 10 so that's actually 20 right there if we go a little bit larger you can see that 20, 1, 2, 3, 4 is right here. So I'm going to make that big enough to where it fits. So there's um, 20. Let's see if we got this right. So that's 15. So 20. So we have to double that. So, so it'll be 20, 10 here, um, 11 and 12. So it'd be 10 and 10. You have to kind of times it because if you're going from the center, I know I don't want to be confusing, but if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if we count over here, though, we've got basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you keep, keep going, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you have to take 10 times 2 to get the length you have so far. So if I need 24 feet, we would double that. So meaning that we'd have 10, 11, 12, that's 24 feet. So I actually have to take this, scale it up into the second line here, and that will be 24 feet. So there's 10, 11, 12, and we gotta look through down through here, and that's just about right. That I'm gonna look through that line all the way down like that. So there's, this is 10, 11, and 12 times 2 is 24. All right, so once we get that floor size down, then we can take this and place it in a layer, the floor plan. And we're going to reference that, okay? So we can't select it. Might be a good idea to move it down too a little bit. So let me go me ahead and move that down. Just down a little bit. Something like that. Okay. And let's reference. There we go. That way I don't select it. Now, once you get the scale, we do we no longer need the grids. Okay. So I'm gonna go to show and turn off grids. Alright, so it's easy to see. I'm on in I'm in the top view. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we are going to use 
um, create polygon. So under mesh tools, we're going to go to create polygon, go into the option box, and reset tool. Okay. And <clears throat> we're going to go to wireframe. So hit the four key. Hit the four key. Okay. So we're, we don't have smooth shade on. I'm going to turn this off. And you can pretty much start anywhere you want. So usually I find a break in in the pl the floor plan. Get a little bit closer so it's full page. And I'm just going to start on the corner here. So I'm going to click here and click here. And don't worry if it's not perfect. Okay. And then hit enter. Okay. So you can see that I'm doing sections here. So I'm going to go back go to mesh tools and create polygon. I'm going to continue doing that all the way around the object. Hit enter. This time I'm going to hit the G key and go right into the tool. Hit G key again. And you can see that I'm going to continue around here, and you can see this little piece right here. i got to go all the way around. There we go. Now, if you see pink here, you can hit the 4 key to put it in wireframe so that pink area doesn't get in your way. It makes it a little easier. Now, I made a mistake there, but you can hit the backspace and, and try it again. Again, you can zoom in to your heart's content. Again, I don't need to click on here to end it. I'm just going to hit enter. Okay. So G key and go on this one. So you can see you can see that this is pretty painless. Not very hard to do. So you can see I, I got a big span over here. Okay. continue around all these areas here to, and make sure we get all the doors and the windows all right we're just about there okay hit enter okay so <clears throat> this is a very simple floor plan I mean I, d I picked it for a reason for and as an example you may have something a little more um, may have a lot of more work to do but at this point I would suggest that you clean this up go to vertex mode and just make them and I would just basically turn that layer off and get the square <clears throat> so what I would do is just kinda you can turn the grid back on and um, move these around whatever you want to do um, like go to show and go to grid and um, turn the numbers off now so display grid and can just turn uh, this stuff off so hide it here we go and turn off get this back to a uh, gray there we go okay and what I can do is I can select this. I'm going to move the move tool, and I can basically go into move snap setting and, and turn off retain component spacing and click on a grid snap. So when I do that, it'll make it um, it'll make it sh straight as an arrow. And then I'm going to turn that grid off and move it down. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy right here. Um, so I'm going to turn grid snap on, okay, and you can see that they form a beautiful straight line. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll turn the grid snap off and put it back where it needs to be. So you can see you can you can uh, make your walls really uh, flat if you're worried about that. Like this part here isn't looking so good, so I'm just going to turn grid snap on. And move them a little bit to get that snap. I'm going to do the same thing with these guys right here. I'm just kind of uh, fixing up uh, the wall so they're at least straight. Okay, so just getting that straight and getting this straight. And I'm not too worried 
about thickness right now. I'm just worried about getting these walls straight. And then I can move them back where they need to be. So I'm just kind of tweaking this out, trying to get these walls straight. And at least they'll be nice and straight. Okay. This one's really wonky. Okay, that looks pretty straight to me. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. Um, you get the idea. So I'm going to pause it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, basically, all I did was uh, cleaned this up so the lines are nice and straight. As you can see, um, I've got nice straight lines, and that's kind of what you want to do. Of course, I didn't want you to, uh, you didn't need to see me going through moving these uh, vertices around. But again, basically, all I did was I turned on the snap grid snap tool, snapped them nice and straight, and then turned it off, and I had to move the verts back to where they need to be. So that's basically what I did during the time I was gone. So I didn't feel like you needed, I didn't need to waste your time and, and fixing all this stuff since then I, knew, I showed you how to do that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the, the object. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off and, and we're going to keep the grid. But you can see we've got a nice outline of what our floor plan is. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the pieces now and go ahead and, and combine. So let's go ahead and combine it. This is the icon for combining up here. You can also hold down the space bar, go to mesh and combine. And the next thing we want to do is we want to reverse because it's black. If you have if it's gray for you, then you're good to go. But we just go in here and go to a mesh display and reverse. Okay, pretty simple. The next thing we want to do is we need to make this all quads because right now this is a end gone. That means it's, it's got more than four edges. And so we need to go through here and it's very easy to do and break this up. So with that selected, you want to hold down the shift key, right mouse button over this and go to multi cut. Okay. So we want to cut the corners first. So we're going to cut the corners. So click on one of the corners and the other corner here and hit enter. What that's going to do is we're going to go all the way around and make sure we have quads for all of these pieces. To do that, we're going to go ahead and click on this and click on that. Hit enter. You can see that's a four-sided polygon now. Then we're going to click on this and click on over here and hit enter. Click on this. Click on this side over here, hit enter. Don't worry if things are not perfect, okay? We're going to continue down, okay? Now, when we do this type of work, um, it's, 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 we could, you know, go through this whole thing and do it. We're going to, we're going to end up taking the bottom and the top off anyway. But I wanted you to know if you did have to leave the top, that you would have to break this up. Okay, for it to go into the game, to for it to properly go into the game. But s since we're taking the top and bottom off anyway, we won't need to go through all this trouble. But I'm going to do it anyway really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to go in here, and you can see that's a four-sided polygon. We're going to cut from here to here. Again, it doesn't take too long to do this. Once you get in the, in the, in the motions and go through the... Uh, you just get faster and faster at this. Um, that one said four sided polygon. We're going to cut. He, he, whoops. He hit the backspace key to go back. Hit enter to apply. And I'm just going to keep. And I'm hitting the enter key when I go. And that's. Uh, those are all four sided. Do the same thing here. And at this point, it doesn't matter if you're if it's perfect. Just make sure that you are hitting the edges here, okay? And we'll do this over here, okay? And here, and, and you need to practice anyway, so practice this. All 
There we go. Multi cut tool. Learn it. It's it's easy. And do that one here. All right. So. All right. So everything's quads, and that's good because that's what you got to do to bring this stuff into any other packages. Okay. So hit the Q key to get out of the out of the tool. And as you can see, we got some jankiness here. But that's that's okay. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go to face and I'm gonna select the faces. Okay. So you can see a lot of history in here. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and edit, delete by type history. And that looks good. So we'll go ahead and extrude now. So select the faces and extrude. I hit hit the extrude icon up here right here. Extrude. And you can also this is cool. You can do control E. Okay? So let's go in here, let's move this out of the way, and let's extrude this up. Alright, cool. So that's awesome. So now we gotta go in here and make sure the walls are at least uh ten feet tall. So I need to get my number system back in here, but anyway I just I'll just take uh just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got to go way up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I believe that's ten feet. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. So we're good there. All right. Okay. So before we do anything, we we have everything. Uh, it's all one object, um, but there's a lot of broken spaces in here. So let's go to the side view, and uh, let's go eight feet. So eight, nine, ten. So let's go down two from here, and we're going to go in here and cut and an edge loop all the way around. So I'm going to click on that, click on that guy, click on this guy, whatever I can get my hands on here, and go to the side view and see if we need to cut any more stuff and. I think, let's see if I miss anything. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. All right, so I think I got everything. So now that kind of helps us with the windows. Now the windows need to be just about off the ground, at least two feet off the ground. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a cut through here. Okay. All right. Alright, I think let's do one more cut right here. We get as close as we can. There we go. Going around. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, we got a lot of cleanup to do, but let's go ahead and get to that point. And so we got that far. I'm gonna do one of the windows and we'll come back. I'm gonna pause and come back and do the rest of them. So we're gonna do a doorway. Um this looks like a doorway, that looks like a window. So let's hit, let's take a look. And let's add this to our um, layer, and let's open up this, and we we can take a look at the doors. So, what is a door? What's a window? That's a door. Window. Window. So the only door in here is right to the right hand side. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Turn this back on. There's the door. The rest are windows. Okay, cool. All right, so we are going to go in here, and that is our doorway. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna. Go ahead and place, put the header on. So they call a header right here for the doorway. So select faces and extrude. Okay, or control E. Try that. Control E, it's pretty cool. Go in here. And then when you get real close, hit the delete key. Now I'm going to show you how to target weld the stuff. It's pretty fun. Go to right click and go to vertex. And we're going to go to mesh tools, target weld. And we're going to select one side. I'm going to select this inside side. And just kind of uh, left mouse button, click on the vertex you start with, and then have it go to. So we're going to target weld from that to this one. And I'm holding down the left mouse button and let go. So we just target weld. There we go. It's pretty easy, pretty cool. It's a great tool. And it will uh, basically, um, it looks like we've got to kind of, got to, discretion there, that's okay, no big deal. 
Let's go in here and pop this one down and this one down. We can correct this stuff later. And so there's a doorway. That's how you do doorways. And then with the window, I'm just going to do one window. Um, so you'll basically do the top. Okay. And you will do the bottom. There we go. Make sure you don't select anything else. Hit the 4 key. Make sure you don't have anything else selected. Um, I accidentally deselected those, so I'll have to do that again. Yes, I will. Okay. And go in here and do the control E and move it over. There we go. Five key. Hit the delete. So we're going to delete those and then do your target weld. Okay. So it's just time consuming work. Um I got I'll do the these two and then you guys can do the rest. Um so once you get those target weld welded in there, get all that piece done, we'll come and I'll show you how to clean this up. So target weld time. Alright, so get to the kind of the corner there. There we go. Again, don't worry if it's um, kind of messed up because um, they won't line up perfectly but at least you can get go in there and get this done and then make adjustments later okay so again don't worry and the target weld is wonderful little tool if you can get a hold of it okay let's try it again sometimes it goes off come on you gonna do it no Let's try one more time. Face, face, there we go. Alright. Yeah, it just kind of stopped working. Oh, there it goes. There we go. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on. There we go. Okay, so there's a door there's a window that's how you do it and then I'll show you how to clean this up when we come back get everything else done I'll show you how to clean it up alright uh, until next video